On this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called writing a solubility product KSP expression. In order to do this, we need to write a balanced equation for the compound that's provided to us in the problem. This one, I have zinc hydroxide, ZnOH2, it's a solid. And this is going to be in equilibrium with the cation and the anion of the ZnOH2 molecule. My cation is zinc with a two plus charge and that's gonna be aqueous. And then my anion is the OH minus hydroxide anion, OH minus. Um, this subscript two is letting me know that I have two of those, and that's also aqueous. The biggest challenge that you're going to have with this problem is number one, making sure that you know the correct charges for each one of the ions, and then number two, like being able to recognize polyatomic ions, getting the um, stoichiometric coefficients corresponding with the subscripts correctly. Once you get the products uh, figured out for this, then you are just going to write the KSP equilibrium expression using the same rules that we always do. It's going to be the concentration of the products uh, over the concentration of the reactants, except for our reactant is a pure solid, which means we'll be leaving it out. So it's just going to be our products and also make sure to raise everything to their stoichiometric coefficients. Alex is going to require you to not just enter these um, cations and anions in, but you also have to have the charges correct. So make sure you're getting the charges correct. Because I have a stoichiometric coefficient of two, I'm going to be raising the OH minus to a power of two. Uh, in the equilibrium expression, you do not include the AQ terms that gets left out. Uh, but again, I just want to emphasize that these problems will be marked wrong if you have the wrong charges on the ions.